Hello friends this is Web's lesson video tutorial and in this part we are going to learn live table insert update and delete MySQL table data using Angular JavaScript with PHP script. We have already learned live table add edit delete using Ajax with jQuery in PHP MySQL. But there are many viewer has requested to publish this type of tutorial by using Angular JavaScript. So here we have published this video tutorial, inline or live table means we are not going to any form for insert or update data operation, this both operation will do in table without refresh of web page. We have divided this video tutorial in four part, in first part we will load data in table by using Angular JavaScript with PHP MySQL. In second part we will learn how can we insert or add records inline by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. In third part we will learn how to update or edit MySQL data in live table by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. And in last part we will see how can we delete or remove data from MySQL table by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. Now let's start discussing first part. In this part we want to load data on web page in table format by using Angular JavaScript with PHP, so first this is our testing database and in this one sample table. In this table we have already inserted some data into this table, we will fetch data from this table and display on web page. This is our working folder and this is our index page and under this page we have already imported bootstrap library and angular javascript library. Now we have moved to write html code, so here we have write ng app directive is equal to live app, this directive define root of our application. After this we have write ng controller directive is equal to live controller, here we have add controller to our angular javascript application. Below we have define one table with two column like first name and last name, we will display mysql data under this table by using angular javascript. Now we have moved to write Angular JavaScript code, so here we have write live app variable is equal to angular.module method with two argument, in first argument we have write app name live app and second argument we have write blank array. After this we have write app.controller method with two argument, in first argument we have write controller name live controller and in second argument we have write callback function. With two argument like dollar scope and dollar http variable, by using dollar scope variable we can get or assign value to angular expression our application and by using dollar http we can communicate with server. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot fetch data is equal to function, here we have make this function for fetch data from MYSQL sample table. Under this function we have write dollar HTTP variable with get method and under this method we have write select dot PHP page name, here we have send request to this page. After this we have write success callback function with data argument, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. 
Under this function we have write dollar scope dot names data variable is equal to data variable, so here we have store which data we have received from server we have store under this names data variable. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so first we want to make database connection so under database connection dot PHP file, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class. Under this class object we have set mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password set to blank. After this we have go to select.php page and here we have write include statement with database connection.php file, this code will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table order by id in descending order. This is our simple select data query. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, this statement will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query, so we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write while loop and under condition we have write dollar row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method and under this we have write to class fetch association method. Here we have use while loop for fetch data and under this we have write dollar statement with fetch method with to class fetch association which fetch next row data from query execution result and convert into array and store under dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar data variable in array format is equal to dollar row variable. So on every interval while loop code will fetch next row data and convert into array which we have store under dollar data variable. Now we want to send this data to angular javascript get method in json format. So we have write echo statement and under this we have write json encode method with dollar data variable. Now we have go to index.html page and here we have write ng init directive is equal to fetch data function. So when page has been load then fetch data function will called and it will display sample table data under table. Now we want to print data under but here we want to make inline table or live table. That means data will display in table but when we have click on any particular row edit button then that table row data has been converted into text box. For first here we have write table row tag with ng repeat directive is equal to data in names data variable. We have store data which we have fetch server has been store under names data variable and by using ng repeat directive we will fetch data from this variable print under table. Here when we have click on particular row edit button then that row data must be converted into text box for this here we have use ng template directive. By using this directive we can convert table column data into text box field. So here we have write script tag with type is equal to text slash ng template directive and id is equal to display. In this template we will display data in plain text format. 
Under this tag we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write data dot first name, so it will print first name column data in pane text under this column. Same way we have again write open and close table data tag and between this we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write data dot last name table column. So under this column it will display last name table column data. After this we have write third table column and under this we want to display edit and delete button. So here we have define edit button and delete button. Now we want make one more template for display table row data converted into text box format with save and cancel button. So here we have script tag with type is equal to text slash ng template directive and id is equal to edit so by using this id attribute we can define which template has been used on different purpose this template for display table row data in text box format under this we have write table data tag and between this we have write input type is equal to text and ng model directive is equal to form data dot first name under this text box we will display first name table column data. In second table data tag we have write input type is equal to text and ng model directive is equal to form data dot last name. Under this text box we will assign last name table column data. In third table data tag we have write input type is equal to hidden and ng model directive is equal to form data dot id. Under this tag we will store particular table row id. After this we want to define save button and cancel button, so here we have defined save button and cancel button. Here our template is ready, now we want to assign this template when page load then we want to assign display template and when we have click on edit button then we want to assign edit template. For this we have go to angular javascript code and here we have dollar scope dot form data variable is equal to blank array, in this variable we will store particular table row data. After this we have write dollar scope dot get template is equal to function with data argument, here we have make one function for assign template. Under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write data dot id variable value is equal to dollar scope dot form data dot id variable value. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose above condition true then we have write return statement with edit text. So in this stage it will load, edit template in table. But suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write return statement with display text. So in this stage it will load display template under table. Now we want to call this function. So here in table row tag we have write ng include directive is equal to get template function and in argument we have write data. So by using this directive we can include HTML code form template which we have get from this get template method, 
Now our code is ready for display MySQL data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP, so we have saved this and check output in browser. Friends when page has been load into browser then we can see that sample data has been load into table with edit and delete button. So when page has been loaded at that time it has get HTML data from display template. When we have click on edit button then it has convert particular table row data into text box this is by using edit template and this things we will learn at the time of edit or update data by using angular javascript with php. So in this part we have seen how to fetch data and display on web page by using Angular JavaScript with PHP and how can we have use ng template directive and ng include directive. In next part we will seen how to live or inline insert or add MySQL records by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.